dearly beloved in Christ Jesus i invite you all to today's program oh jesus talk to me our god is not a stone that he should be silent but he is a god who lives forever and ever he will not lie he will tell the truth and his truth will set a person free and his truth is going to set you free today do not worry about anything <coughs> overcome let us be overcomers persist in life go forward march forward and win in the life <coughs> hallelujah let us turn to god's word now joel 2 26 and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the lord your god that hath dealt wondrously with you <coughs> and my people shall never be ashamed god says to you you are my people he says to you you are my people and my people will never feel shame they shall not be ashamed you will not be ashamed in time of famine no you will not and he says you will eat in plenty and you will be satisfied in life you will eat in plenty your blessings will be plentiful will be plentiful you will eat the fruit of your hands and you will be blessed that's what god's word says to you now read psalms 37 25 king david says i was young and now i am old but i have not seen the righteous forsaken or his children begging bread hallelujah what a good word that is you may be feeling insecure in your life oh will my children go begging bread will they be dependent on people what will be their future like you may be desperate you may be thinking about that god is saying you are my people he says you are my people you are my people and you will not be ashamed in life and how he will do that how he will make us eat plenty and all those things that are mentioned in this verse how he will do that listen very carefully he is going to do wondrous things among you he is going to deal with you wonderfully wonderfully wonderful things are going to be done in your life look at noah and his family at the time they lived they lived among an evil generation a sinful generation and he along with his wife and his sons and daughters in law they were all kept in ark in noah's ark they were all kept but the world went under god's judgment lord destroyed the world with his power with water he destroyed it but noah's ark noah's family went into his ark his ark look at the prophet elijah he lived in the time of famine three and a half years israel was in severe famine there were many widows in the land our lord jesus christ told he lived among that time but our god sent a crow to give him good meat non vegetarian food and then he went to a widow woman and she gave him good food and then an angel came again and the angel gave him heavenly food heavenly food so the prophet elijah had no problems with food the people in the world may tell you are in the same boat along with this no 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 you are not in the same boat with them you are in noah's ark you are kept safe in noah's ark you are going to be fed by god as god fed the prophet elijah he is going to feed you you will be in noah's ark noah's ark safely and you will be blessed by god like prophet elijah even if famine comes in the future you will not be ashamed because god says you are my people as god kept noah and his family in the ark he is going to keep your family in times to come and as god fed prophet elijah he is going to feed you and your family in times to come because god's word said my people will not be ashamed they will not be ashamed let us pray now lord jesus i have told this people your word lord as you taught me i have told them let this word multiply in their hearts give good fruit in their lives apa and bring them joy in their lives and bring them peace in their lives let them be overcomers 
win against all odds in life be overcomers and win against all odds in life lord bless every one of them in their family lord bless their business bless their jobs whatever they do lord bless them bless the fruit of their hands lord the work of their hands let them be blessed master god thank you for hearing and answering our prayers appa we pray this prayer in the name of our lord and savior jesus christ oh heavenly father amen beloved ones do not forget to subscribe this channel and please don't miss to see the daily devotions and praise god every day